Okay, welcome to part two. I'm gonna actually cut my hair, use this bad boy, shout out to Aunt Cindy for letting me borrow it. I'm going to cut a, wait for it, mullet in my hair. As you can see, I've got lots of party in the back to deal with. Got the thick curls going on. I'm gonna take, take things off the side, and I'm gonna kind of clean it up on top too. So, here we go. Okay, I just wetted my hair a little bit, just to loosen it up. I'm just gonna dry it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start off with guard number four on the sides. I found that four is you know, a good one to start with. It's pretty forgiving. Three is also good. Um, I'm actually going to fade the sides. So I don't want to go too high with this four because I'm going to go up with the you know, other, other numbers as well. You can go up behind the ear just a little bit. Get some water back there. Then I'm going to do the same to the other side. You gotta make sure that you kind of get it from a few different angles, just to make sure that you don't miss anything. That's good. You want to kind of kind of remember where you're going, how high you're going on both sides, so you can keep it even as much as possible. I know I just said that you want to keep them the same, but a lot of times what I do is I'll I'll kind of make it a little bit shorter on this side, farther up, so that because I comb my hair this way usually, so that it will taper down a little bit on that side at a little bit of a slower angle. Now I'm putting number five on. Work on this fade a little bit. In the back as well. Okay, now I'm putting number three on. I'm going to bring up the bottom just a little bit because I have the four up there and I want it to meet and greet. I'm also going to do a little bit of numbers. I like to bring the, the lower number a little higher up on my temple too, just get those hairs. That's just kind of a personal preference. Okay, I'm gonna go do the dirty work around my ears. This part is very important. If you forget this part, there's a chance that your haircut will avail you nothing because you'll still look like a child. I like this. Okay, so I just got up around my ear like that. Really feels good too. Feels fresh. You know, honestly, I could just stop here. I think it looks pretty good. If I wanted to look like a member of the BYU basketball team, but I'm actually going to go a little bit shorter on top. I'm going to fade it in, and we'll show you how. So far, I have 
a three, that's about right, goes about right here, and then a four is right here, and a little bit up, and then I did a five up here as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade it up into this one. It's going to be a little bit more of a steep fade. The up I did was a five. I'm going to skip to a seven now. I'm just going to get a little bit up in here. kind of angled towards you know the very top of my head right there with the seven. That face gonna look good. I'm going in with number eight. I'm gonna go all the way across just in the back. I have a calic back there so I'm gonna take care of that as well. Come up from this side. thick curly you know hair that if I keep it short back here with most hairstyles that I do it tends to look better just because you know it looks kind of childish when you have just a bunch of hair growing off the back of your head you can't see it in the mirror but newsflash everyone else can see it so just you know food for thought so I did an eight all the way across still long in the back gonna party later you really just gotta go back and forth quite a bit up there sometimes just to Cover your calyx. Hit it from a few different angles. Starting to kind of come together a little bit. And now I think I've done all the damage that I'm going to do with the number eight. And it feels pretty even back there. So next step is, you know, could be, you know, the hardest part is I'm going to use scissors. Just straight scissors, barber style. And I'm going to use this to cut the rest of the top to make it you know, match a little bit. I like it to be wet when I cut it with the scissors, so I just got my hands wet, and it seems to cut better with the scissors. When I do that, I learned that from every barber that ever cut my hair growing up. There you go. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it consistent. I like to kind of have it fade a little bit, so shorter, and then as it gets longer a little bit, just because of the way my head is shaped. But, let's see. So that means it's going to be a little bit shorter back here, and that's what's going to have to fade with number eight, which, you know, isn't crucial, especially nowadays. You see guys that don't even attempt to, to fade the crown of their head with, you know, the moving forward towards the, the front. Ooh, careful not to cut your your finger. There you go. I'm just gonna keep on going. Okay, let's see, see if progress on making camo. I would do that last, just because it scares the heck out of me. The hardest thing about cutting your own hair is you know just not being able to see. But you got that's where you gotta use your hands. Like you can see that, you know, that's long right there that needs to go, but you can feel it. You can feel it just as easy. And that's gonna be, you know, a lot more helpful when I'm doing my back in the next video. So I'm not going to go much shorter than this just to keep my wife happy, but I'm just going to even it out a little bit. I didn't get this out as much, sorry. Okay, I've got it mostly evened out. One thing that you can do also that's kind of a little hack if you're having issues with fading, especially on the side that the, your hair goes to, I think scissors. Um, like for me, whenever I go that way, this little you know tuft goes right there. So I just take a little bit of the meat out of it. And uh, you can't really see how effective that is. I'm going to also kind of help the fade a little bit right there. See, it's just a little bit more manageable. So, you know, sometimes maybe I want to go this way for a day, so I'll take my thinning shears. 
You know, kind of tilt the thing over here as well. It's a good thing to do. Okay, as you get closer to the end, you know, you put a little wet in it, and you kind of pretend like you're styling a little bit. I try to see, like, okay, you know, that's you know, that's a pretty good look. If I want to go, you know, this way for a day, you know, how is everything looking? Do I need to make any more adjustments? And, you know, do, do this number just to make sure it's even. As far as the line of sym symmetry goes, and this is also a good trick. Now you can see that the, the middle part is a lot longer, and that's, like I said, just a personal preference, just because I don't want there to be like a, you know, cut off at the front of my head. So I'll style that and see what you think. Meanwhile, in the back, you got your party. So... Okay, check out how much hair I took off while I was cutting the mullet. Quite a bit. And then that's how much I took off in my last video. So, boom, boom, that's how much hair I've taken off. Styled it a little bit. And that is how you do business in the front and party in the back. Check out my next video for a skin fade.